Hello, and to those of you joining for the first time, welcome to my ongoing quest to not leave projects unfinished. This is Aspire 1, Mission 1.5, and unlocking all weapons for the now weapons ages, rack. You have to scale the so, shot. in the beginning, we're going to climb the girders on the left-hand side, taking care to avoid the trip mines until we get to this outcropping here, where we can enter the vent. Going through the vent and around past the loading screen, we're going to find ourselves immediately with a small case of plot Objective paralysis. Complete. One of the things that's a little bit different about this mission is you start the mission with a pair of 92FS green pistols instead of the usual tranquilizer round. Now as soon as we're able to move we're going to duck in this first door to the left and drop down as we can see the 92FS pistol which we can switch for one of our silenced green ones and continue back up through the mission. Going back out the same door we came in, we're going to use this section to the left as cover and keeping a careful eye on the drones, climb up this pillar to the next portion using the ample cover to make our way to the door. At the end of this hallway, we're going to find the supernova shotgun which we can tuck into the weapon slot on our chest and continue on our merry way. In the next level here, after I unlock the Aspire case box, just in case, you'll find that at the end of the walkway, there's another vent. This one a little bit more open, and immediately to our left is the E1FS silenced pistol. Unfortunately, like most missions, there's simply not enough hands to be able to get all weapons in one run through. But we can get very close, and in fact I'm going to take a definite effort to show you how close we can get. At the top of these stairs on the right is the MP7A1 submachine gun, and while we still have the shotgun occupying the main weapon slot in our weapon harness, I'm going to refuse to relinquish this and continue to climb one-handed. So at the top of this ramp we can get off on the left or right and circle back around to the opposite side to climb some boxes and make our way to the last section of this mission. Doing a quick little one-handed climb here, I'm going to make my way up and to the immediate right is the XM8 rifle, the last weapon that's available in this mission. Now we can use both of these guns to take out some of the trip mines instead of having to put one of them down to disarm it, and staying to the right to avoid the range of the sentry turret, make our way to the end of the level, completing mission 1.5, and unlocking all but one gun in one go. We can of course go back and simply do the mission over again really quickly to get the 92FS green that we started with, completing our set of weapons for this mission.